Visit www.turningtiny.com to purchase the most anticipated tiny house book of the year. And join us August 5th, 6th, and 7th in Colorado Springs, Colorado for the Tiny House Jamboree. Hey, this is Aaron Troisi with The Unknown Craftsman. We're here in upstate New York uh, where we finally moved and settled Tanya's old-timey gypsy caravan. So we wanted to give you a quick tour of that. So for starters, we have this uh, unique custom door with an inset opening window. So all the lighting throughout on the inside and the outdoor lamps are all LED. They're also all repurposed automobile lights. And we did that for a couple reasons. It's definitely cost effective and they're used to running off of a battery and the draw on the battery is really minimal. They're super energy efficient. We actually wired this tiny house to run off of DC power and AC power. We wanted to make sure that it was, it was able to be both off the grid and on the grid. Continuing along, uh, we have the shelving and the molding, and then we have these opening and closing windows. This is her kitchen. There's an antique brass bucket sink, a propane stove. The countertop um, has an interesting story as well. This is apricot, and it's actually from a tree that we cut down in her backyard about 10 years ago. Because it has that history, it's also the kind of personal touch that we really love to build into uh, the work that we do. But we like to incorporate a lot of live edge into our work because we feel that it captures the natural beauty of the organic world. And so this is all live edge uh, cherry, hardwood cherry. And actually cherry is nice because in the sun it actually becomes darker and richer over time. So most of the wood that we've built into here will actually age really nicely and it should just become more and more beautiful as time goes on. The bench that I'm sitting on is made of pine. So if you look closely you can see these lines that kind of run this way. That's actually the, the cut of the saw, of the actual blade of the saw as it went through this piece of wood. And I think a lot of woodworkers would normally sand that off so it's nice and smooth and maybe stain it. But we thought it was really cool. And so we like to incorporate at least some of the history and the story of the wood into the pieces that we're working on. I was amazed how much space a curved ceiling adds. So much more clearance. They call it a tiny house, but it makes it feel really big. It's almost like cathedral ceilings in here, just because it has that curve. This is the loft, um, built out of the same uh, materials as the floor, which we also built. It is 10 feet deep and eight and a half feet wide, which adds 85 square feet. The, the curve of the roof adds a lot of clearance. So this is the sleeping nook. Uh, which has a nice kind of curved entrance and uh, an opening window that's sealed and screened with one of those lens accents. And it opens up into her bathroom. Now in her bathroom she has a little shower in the corner here and on this side is her toilet. Like the front door, the back door has an inset opening window. This as well as the other accents above windows throughout the build, they're actually old theater light lenses, which are really cool. And it's also another personal touch because the client actually has worked in theater her entire life. So we wanted to make sure to incorporate some of that cool stuff into the build. So that's the inside of the caravan. The outside, we have decks front and on the back with kind of the live edge stairs. The siding is actually pine. And we planed the boards down to be half an inch, so it'd be a lot lighter. You can see the two different roofs because we have the loft in the front side. And the difference between the two roofs on that siding, we put cedar shingles up top, framing three lenses that we put to cast light into the loft. That was Tanya's old timey caravan. If you're interested in seeing more about how we built this place and more pictures of the build and more pictures of our work, check out our website, theunknowncraftsman.com. Thanks.